there guys, it's your ghoul to rule them all, it's the Watcher, and I would just like to say, I'm going to show you how I create some of my characters that I've created, I've cho chose, I've chose to kind of create a female character for this one, hopefully you guys, um, like it. And this is how I create most of my characters. I use a game called Anime Boutique for all my female characters. Or an app called Anime Boutique for all my female characters that I create. For whether that be general RP or just generally showing my friends. Like really awesome characters that I create. And how I do it is I just click this little play button. It will have sound. I've turned off sound because I don't like like it as like i don't like the music as much it comes up with this i just click dress up pick whatever skin color i want for by clicking on this little icon up here that looks like skin i'm gonna go with this for this one click the eye icon and it looks and i can go through all of these let's pick some nice baby blues but maybe not that like big then let's get some eyebrows in what shade eyebrows I think I'll go with them and the nose I always pick this one because of the pure fact of it looks more re I think it matches the characters that I kind of create and then I'm gonna, for this one, I'm gonna go with this. Hmm. Let's go with, um, this sort of mouth for today. <sighs> okay, so now we're gonna move on to, um, other stuff. You've got the, if you wanna create, like, say, a ghoul, I tend to use and I want to create a kind of mask for the ghoul, I'll tend to use this or this, depending on which one I fancy. This one's more ghoul hidden, so for example, if I wanted to create a ghoul, I would use that kind of mask. There is also um, eyes with like two different colours on it, as you can see here, but I don't really use them that much, because I prefer to kind of create my goals like like slightly different like with both their eye colour changing depending on which one. But if you wanted to do do it that way you could. And there's loads of different options. There's even like a little bandage, there's a mole and all them interact with each other like some like all the different parts interact really well and stuff like that and you can always recolor them by clicking the little icon up here and you can recolor certain items so if i was to pick i don't know uh this kind of hair then go like this i can actually make it slightly like dark like slightly more blonde maybe decrease saturation so it's slight so it's slightly more blonde maybe there we go and then i can do that so, for example and in general it's just really good for that kind of thing. So this is what I've got so far. Then if I wanted to go now scroll down. Go to this. If I wanted to. I'm just going to take this out of that. And just put him in. Say that. So. And then I'm going to go and do Let's get that. Let's get. 
Let's go down to trousers, put that on. Go back up to top tier. Just because I don't want YouTube copying strike like me for nudity and whatever else. Because I know YouTube tend to be a bit of a jag with that sort of thing. But say I can put in that or that. Depending on which one I fancy at the time, I might put them in that actually. And then I can change the colour of it so I can make it like brighter, I can make it different colours using this one. I can change the intensity of the colour. So if I wanted to make it dark purple, there you go. And I can also change the brightness of the top so it makes it slightly better. I can change the contrast of it. So there we are, I'm going to go with that because I kind of like that. I'm then going to take off this flower thing, but you, like you can put loads like tires on there and stuff like that. You can put loads of different things on there. But I'm going to quickly just take off this flower thing, which is in hats. It's the icon with the hat. I'm just going to do that. I don't need a scarf because I'm not creating a wintry sort of character. Let's get some glasses in. Maybe she's a smart or something like that. Sorry to all the people that wear glasses, but that's the kind of character. That's the kind of thing I just thought up. If you take offence out, I'm sorry for calling you smart asses, but not everyone, not everyone's exactly as they are. But I love you all the same, really. And you've got tons of different ideas you can put, like socks on. Like I tend to use these socks here because they look more like the socks someone would wear. Rather than the other, like, long... You, but you've got tons of different ones. Like, you've got short socks. You've got long socks. You can have, like, really long-legged, like, socks and stuff like that. You've then got, um... you then got different shoes... And knee pads you can also add so you can create loads of different characters. And that's what I love about this. I just love creating tons of different characters that all each have an individual personality. And all of them tend to have like the way I like when I do role plays and stuff like that, I tend to create them with individuality in their in the way that they play. Let's not dim down the contrast, dim the brightness, there we go. Then let's go to, you can also put knee pads on, but I'm not going to put different hats on, but mm, maybe that, I don't know. But you can do tons of different stuff with this. Put scarves, gloves on so I can have like this or like this, same with socks. Like you got like short and long ones, you've then got fingerless gloves, you've then got like mittens and stuff like that. You've then got what I like to call um, doctor's gloves. Because they, that's what they kind of remind me of. Like, I'm just going to put a pair of fingerless gloves on there. 
maybe in decrease the brightness a bit. Then um you can always like this fan thing she's got in her hand is also a thing but you can also put tons of different things in there like a strawberry, a cookie, whatever this is, I don't quite know. A lolly or a lollipop depending or whatever you like to call it at the time. Or a sparkler for say Fourth of July or some something along those lines, like maybe firework night or something like that. Depending on which country you're in. Maybe you just like coffee or tea or something you want to show that your character kind of likes that by putting that in their hand. Or maybe they're like, for example, like, maybe they like freaking cotton candy. I don't know. Or maybe they just start, like, maybe they're just starting to get into love, or maybe they've just started Hogwarts or something, like, you want to create a kind of witchy sort of character, like, a character that looks human to the natural eye, but when, like, whenever you want, you could, like, um, take them into another, like, you could then make them in another app that I will show you another time, but this is just going over this one. Then you got, um, you got different necklaces, so I'm going to put, hmm, one more. I'm going to put this one on because I think it looks kind of nice. You can also put bags on and loads of different things like maybe a book, maybe a little thing like that. I'm not going to put anything like that on. You can also have animals, so for example, like the birds, you can, you can also recolor these any way you want. The cat, you've then got like a little, um, I don't even know what that is, like a, some sort of weird creature, you've then got a squirrel, a little fat hamster that maybe sits on her shoulder that you can change the colour of, maybe a butterfly, maybe a dog, and then mate, like, I'm just going to do this because, um, there we go, so maybe, so maybe she's got a dog, maybe you could put a monkey holding a banana, or a different type of dog, maybe you want that type. I'm going to actually do that. We've got tons of different options. I'm just going to say that's good. Go back to this, do this. Let's decrease the intensity. So maybe you kind of want that or something like that. You can then put like a different background on. And also you can resize these just by pinching like the screen. 
like stretching it in and out and stuff like that so i might want to create the smallest character possible which is this or maybe the largest character possible which is this but it kind of like the dog goes along with it so i'm not i'm going to create that's quite small and i'm going to change the background to maybe like a school background or sporty background or that or maybe just like a random background We've got tons of different ones so that that well this is how i kind of create my characters and then when you want to take a picture of it or say like you can then go back like change make a profile for it like maybe you want it to have a certain job like i don't know um maybe i'm just gonna move that because that's kind of in the way at the moment maybe flash photographer or something or maybe um I'm just gonna say that like maybe she's a beauty, maybe um and her name's gonna be I don't know, Jane. Yes, I spelled Jane wrong at first. And also I need to fix that because that's gonna be annoying. There we go. And then I can choose to save that. I can also pick her zodiac. Like I'm gonna go with Aquarius. Maybe a story. I'm just gonna do this because I don't know. The, I'm just showing you as an example. Like stuff you can do. You can then click save, take it into any of these empty slots. So I've got tons of different characters that I've created. And it will do an ad, but. Sorry you had to hear that guys, but I don't think you did actually hear that. I'm not sure. Again, like there's tons of different things you can do. Like you've got tons of different like character spots. Then it says like your character saved, you then just go do you want to quit game? No. Let's go. And click back. And if I want to take a picture of her, I would have to go into dress up and click this little, like, I'm just going to drag this down here. Like, I'm just going to click this little camera icon. And I can add, like, a doll that I've made previously. So, for example, I'm going to add Jennifer, which is the character I've made previously. Move this one over, um, move her kind of more into the scene. And you can create, like, kind of pictures where you have them kind of together and stuff like that. And these are really good good for, like, RP or something along those... Like, these are really good for RP or something along those lines. Or if you're just into general character creation, you can kind of use it. And then you can choose if you want to share it with friends. I'm just going to click no because I don't have friends. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> of course, I have friends. Everyone does. But then you can also, like, if you wanted to, you could also add, like, their name in it and change the color of that, that maybe their job. And have it so you could take a picture like that. Stuff like that. And it's just generally really fun. I tend to use this a lot when creating characters. Because um, when I've got the kind of look for a character. I can kind of create a better character. Like I can kind of create the better story for them. Because I know their look. I can then work on that and kind of create their 
attitude, the way they, the way they are, their personality and everything from that. So whenever I want to quit the game, I just do so. And, well, that's it guys. I've been recording for, for like a while now. So, see ya.